Hello, I am back here with another clip focusing on gold and silver taken from a long video I just finished to record for my subscribers. For those who are interested in my services, I leave the special offer open and I give further details about that at the end of the clip. So if you're interested, please stay on. Other than that, I wish you have a pleasant viewing, excellent trading week and see you next week. This is the chart of silver in US dollars. Before going through with the interpretation of this one and also gold, etc., I would like to say in general concerning the precious metals and the various gold stocks and silver stocks that I'm covering from time to time that I see no problem, no problem surfacing up to now concerning the, uh, this bull, this emerging bull. The bull is alive and well, it's healthy. Some uh, gold stocks, silver stocks are actually very strong, very strong and their pattern points clearly to further upside. I think what we see in the commodities themselves are normal, normal phases of a correction. And uh, let's have a look now at the details. This is the weekly. We have two options running here. This is a one, two, three way and a fourth wave. Or we just count from here and we have first wave. Either way, it does not appear to me that silver is ready to resume the run in this sense. No, absolutely not. It needs more time, more time to consolidate here and potentially even go lower, check lower levels of support before we have uh, the correction behind us. Uh, let's have a look at the daily now. We have come down for about a week. We have gone sideways now in what appears to be almost a perfect triangle B. We have done that for two weeks. Now it appears to me uh, that there is a fair chance that we will go down for about a week uh, and potentially go down towards 17, 16 and a half. Okay, equality between the A and the C will take us down to 16.57. Uh, Extension will take us way lower. I don't think it's going to give us an extension here. It looks fairly strong, but that, that is uh, the figure. Yes, 15.4 if you go for an extension. Um, I think that we got such a perfect triangle here that all the odds are really sitting with the reading that is suggesting weakness is coming this coming week. I could be flat wrong. I could be flat wrong and patterns, corrective patterns are known to shift directions and you know switch and turn and uh, they are never sort of you can't nail them until they are behind you that's the nature of corrections but we have already so much to go by here look this is the 60 minutes we have come down we had a a b c a a b c b a b c c a b c d it looks perfect and that's the final uh, final bunch of uh, tiny ABCs that is um, in my opinion they are terminating um, the E leg and in turn the B should be over okay so come Monday Tuesday silver is not doing much is resting around here get ready there is a fair chance it's going to break once it breaks 17.4 just under uh, that's the run of the C okay and our job is going to be to read as carefully as we can to um, read the moves that begin here uh, attempting to read five leg run okay uh, here we had the five leg uh, trying to discern yes as clearly as we can the five leg run and then we're going to have that moment of truth where everything that hangs in the balance will come into play Okay, that's the four hour scale. We go down, we have an A, B, C. This is an idealized, yeah, an idealized situation. I have no guarantee it's gonna happen. I'm just preparing you to the um, highest likelihood um, outcome that I see here. Okay, we come down and then some of you might take the chance and buy here. And they might turn out to be perfectly right and so uh, we'll go back to 19 and a half. I do not expect at this point that it's going to fly through uh, the previous high, but it could do. If it is very strong 
uh, and that's going to be one two. Of course, it's going to absolutely fly through. I think it is more conservative to estimate that we're going to have another ABC, a prolonged ABC, and then come down again. And only then we might be ready for the big one. Okay. Um, if we are in a fourth wave, obviously it's not going to run through now. It's going to come back, and over time you're going to see a big triangle going sideways. That's going to chew up another two, three months. Uh, so that's it. That's the situation with silver. I have to uh, say that silver has um, reasonably clear, reasonably clear B uh, drawn here for us. And uh, I have already told you when we were here, when we were coming down, that that, that is something that could be uh, proving as of great help to us if we do get a B. And here we are. We got a B. And let's leave it now, of course, uh, to Mr. Market. Uh, there is not much that we can do in terms of forcing any pattern here. Uh, breaking down through this level, that's your trigger. That's your trigger for counting for that C and preparing for entry uh, for a rebound. This is uh, the chart of gold. Hourly scale, gold price in US dollars. And we have seen an A coming down. I think this lateral movement should be taken as an A, B, C that is coming close to an end. The C right here. That will terminate the B and will open the gate for the C, uh, sending it towards 1,407. Uh, between this zone, I think, between 1,452 to 1,407, that, that will give us equality between the A, the A and the C, and that will give us an extension. Okay, and evidently there is quite a lot of support around here. So if this uh, projection is correct, of course gold has nothing to do here. Absolutely not. It has nothing to, uh, to do at 1,557, the previous high. No, it should uh, pop its head potentially just by a bit above the level here, 1,524, and then we want to see it struggling. Struggling, basically not keeping uh, up the uh, momentum of this uh, jump. Here we go, that's the 15 minute scale. Yes, we want to see it struggling uh, and then reversing and plunging. It's possible it might not even have, if you like, the strength to do even that. I think it will. I think it is going to try to take the stops from here and then sinking back into this zone, which is under 1,508 and a half. We are probably on the right track, assuming further decline testing of 1,484 is coming. And that could indeed prove to be the C that we are waiting for. Okay, uh, if for some reason Gold did not see my video and doesn't fancy following the script that I'm showing you here and it continues higher and within two, three days you see Gold sitting here doing something like that. Very bad very bad for the shorts, it is likely preparing to take the top and run. I'm not sure how far it's going to run higher because I think we are due for serious correction. So it might be a trap if you like, it will run up, take the stops from here and then reverse. Um, but running towards 1548, 1552 and staying here for a few days, obviously sets up the, uh, the stage for further run. Hello, hope you enjoyed the clip. I'm back here with uh, some details about my service currently at 50% off for first time users. You need to go on uh, my website, the homepage is right here. It's uh, Wave Mastery, www at wavemastery.com. Yeah, point uh, Wave Mastery in one word dot com. That takes you to the homepage. You can uh, scroll down, look through some things that I've written here, some recommendations from past users and current users. And that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first time subscribers, okay? So there is the daily service, uh, daily videos that are preceded by trial. So you can take the trial for uh, one week. And at the end of that, if you're happy, you do nothing, you go on to the plan of um, half price, essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price, and that will be good for one year. That means uh, 12 um, payments of 79. Uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos, then you go for this one, 
and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit uh, you know where things are moving because sometimes one week of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change especially if you're a short-term trader uh, you really want to know uh, what's happening so that is essentially the situation if you decide to go for example for the daily videos you uh, click here it takes you to the page where it explains to you you should read that it explains to you what um, what is covered etc etc if you like what you read you click here subscribe it takes you to uh, PayPal uh, because of my uh, paying system is through PayPal and um, you pay through PayPal you can see you have the trial at $9.99 that's uh, for the first seven days as I said if you like what you see do nothing it just, it just goes automatically if you don't like you can cancel or if you don't know how to cancel or you have any doubt you have any question you can write to me of course uh, once you go through and you pay you come back uh, PayPal will send you back to my website uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details, uh, choose your login, and uh, once you do that, you will be led uh, automatically to the page with uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date. If at any point in time in this process you have a problems, things are not going. Uh, as I'm describing to you right now, all you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out. Um, that is essentially it. So um, you'll have one week to look at things. I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts, why join? Yes, each of these articles. Uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to, to see um, how to relate to my website but there's no substitute in my opinion to actually take a trial you know you take a trial and I want to say another thing you take a trial and you can't make up your mind you want more time to think fine I understand that then you cancel but then you're not allowed to take another trial. Please, I want to be very clear about that. There are people who abuse this and it's really um, not right. Uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial, okay? A trial is a trial. But if you're interested, after you take a trial, you're interested to come back, you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year. But you have to write to me and then I will send you a special link without a trial and, and, and if you join then, you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months, okay? Uh, if you take another trial after you took already one, I am going to have to cancel that and refund you. And if you do that two or three times, I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here. Uh, use subscription once you are... Uh, once you are logged in, you will see this one highlighting you uh, uh, daily service videos, or weekend service videos. Yeah, it will show which one you really um, um, have the right to, to access. The daily service videos, to be very clear, they cover the weekend service videos. Okay, so you don't have to subscribe to both. The daily covers everything I do. The weekend, of course, is more selective. Now, I have here resources, there are chart galleries right here, uh, chart one, two, three, there are plenty, plenty of chart, uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how I go about uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here. There, I covered a lot, a lot of markets and you can see there is history here that could be very interesting for you to just go through, let's see, Platinum for example. Yes, that's 1973 to 1978. If you click right on top where it shows you the hand, the chart opens up big. You can print it if you like. Um, here is an example of Platinum, April um, uh, 1980. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then the huge correction that followed after that. Uh, so they, there is plenty for you, whichever market you're interested. Uh, interested in the financials, uh, commodities, precious metals, etc. Uh, okay, so that chart galleries, 
then useful links as it as the name implies yes recommended reading list you have uh, a long list of uh, books here that I've read over the years that I found very interesting of course I have many more books that uh, I would like to add it's just a question of time I don't always have time to update this one but the books that you find here uh, did help me in the beginning and still uh, the information here is very valuable in these books for example Kroll I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Kroll Stanley Kroll was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general I learned a lot from uh, from these books and of course uh, if you haven't heard about uh, reminiscence of a stock operator you should uh, get this book and read it uh, you will not regret uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders I think uh, have come across and read it is very very interesting and uh, as you go down the list you will see if there are things that are of interest to you uh, of course uh, go ahead get them some of them are in, even available online for free as a PDF uh, check that uh, if you have questions about that you can even uh, contact me here's the contact us and you uh, put your name please make sure you give me the right email address message simple maths submit I get it you'll hear from me I am based in Belgium so if you write to me from Australia or from the US and I'm having uh, my rest do not be surprised if I don't react quickly okay uh, normally within uh, within a day you will have a reply for me I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly so that's about it hope to see you visiting my website hope to see you taking a trial um, if you have any questions again don't hesitate get in touch with me and uh, wishing you great trading week bye now